on today's video we're going to talk about 5 speed 8 inch bench top drill presses. Now I needed to pick up a drill press for my upcoming rotary boring machine project and so I dropped by my local Harbor Freight and I picked up this Central Machinery 5 speed 8 inch drill press. This was about $67 and I thought well it should be fine for the project that I'm going to be doing. I've had this drill press here since 1989. It's got nice cast steel parts, runs really well. The pulleys are made from steel. And overall, it's been a real good drill press. I've drilled thousands of holes with this drill press. Very happy with it. Uh, this is a value craft. I picked this up from True Value Hardware, I believe, back in 1989. This is my trusty drill press and I use this a lot so I didn't want to convert it for the rotary boring machine. So I went down to Harbor Freight and I picked up this one. I brought it back home, started putting it together and right away I was just not very happy with the fit and finish. And of course I was comparing it to this 20 year old one. This one happens to be made in Taiwan. It's very well made. So I decided to look online and see if I could find something that's a little bit more comparable to this in the same price range. I found this Win 5 speed 8 inch drill press. I saw a video on it and looking and watching the video I could tell that it was closely resembled my trusty drill press that I've had for years. So I decided to go ahead and pick one of these up. Now this Believe it or not, this drill press was only $76 off of Amazon. So it's only $9 more expensive than this Harbor Freight. So I thought, well, since I've got both of them, why not do a comparison video for those of you who might be interested in picking up one of these. So let's take a look at some of the things that I noticed right off the bat. So if you look online and compare the specs to both of these drill presses, they're both pretty much identical. However, I will tell you that the wind is a lot heavier than the Harbor Freight. Now those of you that have one of these Harbor Freights, you may have the cast steel parts. These right here are just stamped steel, so I can't really compare uh, this drill press to one that is shown actually on the website. A few other things that I've noticed was the on and off switch. This is a lot bigger and nicer. The overall sheet metal is a lot nicer on the wind. It's a lot thicker. You can look at the plate here. The gauge thickness of this motor mount is a lot thicker than this Harbor Freight. Um, at least a couple of gauge thicknesses. Uh, the fan cover on the Harbor Freight motor is plastic. The wind is actually all steel. Now the Harbor Freight does have these nice big handles which I thought was a nice feature and the wind has a little bit smaller more like my old uh, drill press here. The wind, I noticed that the shaft here is a smaller diameter than the Harbor Freight and the one on my old drill press is a lot bigger than both of them. I did expect that because this one's so old and it's made in Taiwan I didn't really expect to get anything exactly like this but I will say that the wind is a lot closer as far as the castings you can see that the way the flange bolts down to the base here this base is all cast and the flange bolts down real similar the surface where the flange bolts down was machined and the bottom of the flange was actually machined however this was not a machine surface it was just a sanded surface like this and when I went to bolt it down you could tell that there was some bow it wasn't flat however the wind was nice and flat 
I believe the gauge of the tubing here is a little bit thicker than the gauge of the tubing on the Harbor Freight. Also, I noticed that the chuck does not seat all the way up on the taper nicely like the wind does. And the wind is real similar to my older drill press. It sits nice and tight up on there. Also, another big thing is the Harbor Freight has aluminum pulleys. Um, I guess trying to go cheaper and save weight. I'm not real sure. Whereas the Win has nice steel pulleys, just like my older model here. Now, one thing I hated about this older model was it tends to, the cover tends to rattle. And I noticed right off the bat on the wind that they put these little rubber, just not really expensive, just real cheap little rubber piece here and it kind of keeps it from vibrating. Also, this is just a knob with a bolt, but on the back of the bolt they've got like a little rubber cap. So, it doesn't do any vibrating. This has no, none of that. Um, doesn't even have a rubber cap on the back of the bolt there. And it's pretty loud when it, you turn it on. And it just feels... It feels a little harsh. A gritty, I, I should say. The mechanism feels a little gritty. The wind... Feels nice and smooth, but not quite as nice and smooth as my old, older version. You can see that the quill is real nice on my older model. The win also has a real nice finish on the quill. You can tell it was machined. But check out the Harbor Freight. You can actually, maybe you can see in the video there, but it's very rough. Very rough finish on that. And you can, you just can hear it as you're moving it. Now, it does come with a nice little light, which, if that's something that interests you, I really didn't care. For what purpose I bought this machine for, the light's going to come off anyways. But let me turn it on. We can hear the Harbor Freight running. They're both on the high-speed pulley. Uh, this is 3,070 RPMs. Let's see what this one's rated at. 3140. So it has a little bit higher RPM. But let's turn the Harbor Freight on. It just sounds gritty. There's a little bit of vibration because it's not bolted down to the table. And this one probably has a little bit too. Even when it stops, it just doesn't sound quite right. I like the switch better on the wind. Of course, this one's clamped down, so it doesn't have that vibration issue. But you can hear that rattle you hear is actually just the lid there. Another nice little touch on here was this little rubber keeper for your chuck key. Now, years ago I put this little Velcro on mine so that I could keep my chuck key back there and I wouldn't lose it. Uh, that's worked for me so far. But you can see there's a big difference between the Harbor Freight, which is $9 cheaper than the Win. 
for what you you're doing it may not matter but if you're gonna get something that's gonna last you you know 30 years then you may want to pick up something like the win it has real nice cast if they've took the time to finish the castings and make everything nice I'm sure the spindle and the bearings were done with the same quality control as the rest of the machine can't for the Harbor Freight I can't really say that really disappointed in the Harbor Freight and for my money I think it's better just to go with uh, the win so I highly recommend uh, the wind drill press as for me I'm gonna try to take this Harbor Freight back and see if I can get a refund because just really not happy with uh, the machine at all all right well that wraps up this video as always if you have any questions or suggestions please feel free to comment thumbs up if you like the video thanks for watching and most importantly be safe